We still have no clear idea what the Union really are, but I have a feeling we will know it by the end of this season. At least, for, at least I hope we do. We cannot just end this series season without any clear answer on what the Union really are, except some very big antagonists. But there's a heavy emotional uh, episode of this here, as the Genlock team actually grows a little closer and also gets a new step. Still, it appears the entire vanguard is dead. Although there has been some implication that maybe... Yes, maybe Miranda survived. But we'll see, won't we? The angry enemy found that it's better be over. Here to bring Yenglag episode 7, It Never Rains. A fitting episode title for Chase, who cannot cry anymore. Either way, he had re briefly returned to the vanguard section, but couldn't find anything but ruins. But his nemesis is continuing taunting him and talking to him, meaning the more times they are online, it can track him. And indeed, it turns out that Genlock Mindshare has actually worked more events than th the previously thought. Now that Valentina can play the same type of music as Kazu can. But it's during this time, though, that the robot that had been walking with them, that was uh, well Rufus Weller's uh, personal robot, begins to talk in Rufus Weller's voice and uh, record and demands a uh, code phrase. Let the good times roll is indeed the code phrase as a uh, premature or, or um, holographic of Weller appears and explains everything. Man, well, it really was smart. He recorded this in case he knew he would die. I guess he knew just how dangerous his project really was. Granted, it's always been implied he did know how dangerous it was. Told everybody that um, the robot is his, not only his personal assistant, but also his personal memory banks. Uploaded with his memories of every single information about Genlock, but not his personality, just his mind and... Uh, our, our mind of his intelligence and blueprints and all that stuff. It's during this time the robot talks about an abandoned place research facility that was supposed to be one of the next phases to go to. And they go there, seeing that they have no other place to go, and meet uh, a familiar face, Dr. Wu, the, you know, the very cocky, but uh, also a little bit, uh, well not cocky, a little bit scatterbrained like scientist that was always so a little bit cheeky. And also another doctor that was revealed to once have been married to Weller. Together with an investor who is a very likely one of the greatest investors of this world, they created the Genlock stage. And Genlock has apparently advanced even more than the female scientist even knew was possible. Because after all, war does that to people. So the investor reveals also a little bit information about everyone. How Kazu fell off with the customs, how Kami turned to security after some moments, that Valentina was banished from the Russian military, very likely because of her, well, well, no, no, not theirs, gender change or gender fluidity. And uh, Yasmin apparently becoming an union after outing her parents as intellectuals, which was hunted by the union. And finally, Julian Chase, star pilot, who pursued Deceased mother and the sister, but we know her. We know his sister is still alive. One wonders though if we'll get that too. Either way, they all vow together to work and create a new genlock system that can actually log out from Nemesis, because as long as they are on the online, Nemesis can track them. However, with these investors and blueprints, they can actually find a way to block out the Nemesis, albeit only a little bit temporarily. So, uh, there is actually, a, so, um, but they does says that it will do this in exchange of capturing or destroy the Nemesis Holon. After all, it is Union Tech, which is called Thieving. And it also contains ne Chase's original body, because he has a crisis of faith here. Is this really me? But who knows, really. So, Hikami leads the repairs after having been apprenticed under Miguel and... Upgrades the different Hollands in unique appearances. Yas has now wings similar to Chase. Valentina has decided to reassemble them. Kasu is based on Robo Shogun, a manga he apparently loved as a kid, but he hasn't read manga since he was a kid. And Kami is designed to look like a rabbit. After all, that's her animal motive. While, Ju while Julian upgrades his holographic appearance with the Genlock uniform. Uh, 
and accepting the group as his new team. Because together they are going to find a way to um, capture the nemesis and also find a way to um, to uh, avenge everyone here. So yeah, this episode upped the games a little bit that the Genlock team is actually getting a little bit closer. Although Kazu not talking English is still pretty bad. But again, I have a feeling he never will. The most uh, awesome thing here is that uh, Drew Robert Weller really has been invested in a lot of different people to build this genlock. He wasn't just working on this alone. And he had an ex-wife, probably divorcing him because he wasn't too emotional prepared. Or maybe because she felt that the genlock was too dangerous. Or she did say she was moving to other instances. Julian now accepts everyone as uh, his new team. The question is though, can they capture the nemesis? And if they do, will that really save everything? Jazz has warned Julian that um, uh, were, that that version of him has been online every single time. Very likely shattered his mind. So even if Julian wants to get his original memory or personality back, merging that with the memory of his backup, it's very likely not going to be a pretty sight. Well, he have to find one way to resemble his body, though. How will they do that? No freaking idea. Kami really is shine in this episode. Although I still think a little foul-mouthed, she was showed surprisingly amount of maturity and intelligence here about working here. Not just the uh, foul-mouthed uh, uh, little brat that she has always been. She really showed some amount of intelligence, so she is the hacker. The fact that she modeled her Holland after a rabbit is still pretty cute. Very likely showing that rabbit is her favorite animal. But what is next, I don't know. But it was a bit of an emotional heavy episode. But you can give me your thoughts if you have any.